Hello everyone, and welcome back to Strangers of the Power 3. Um, I got a little bit of advice from the dev last time. Let's see here. Apparently, um, you're supposed to, um, to, like, rotate the camera more to, like, find stuff. I didn't really- can you walk over this? Oh! Oh, that's where I messed up! Okay, I thought you couldn't walk over these mountains for some reason. Uh... Well, is there anything up here, though? Oh, no, is that it? Uh, this looks a bit different. Hold on. Oh my god, Th this camera needs to be higher up, I swear. Oh, oh okay, okay. Uh, I think I found the volcano. <laughs> the dev told me that I should be looking for one, and yeah, I think I found it. That, that is a very volcano-esque area. I want to explore around first, though, for obvious reasons. What kind of monsters we got here? Uh, fire dragons. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wait, no, excuse me. Fire lizards. I'll leave it to ice if I had to imagine. It probably goes by Final Fantasy logic. Uh, oh, maybe not. That didn't do too much, though. gonna absorb fire. Dime has done that sort of thing before. Ah, no. I, I guess just magic doesn't really work well on these guys. So that or I need like a water spell. Nice. What is a flame spell book? Hold on a sec. I can even guess what that does, but I just want to be sure. Yeah, okay. Let's anyone use fire magic. Oh, yep, and I was right. There is going to be treasure here. Health brew. Um. Oh, hold on. Nothing over here. Hang on. Dang, this. You really need to make this elevated ground like a different color, I swear. Like. Oh, goodness. Do I want to fight three of these guys? This area heal. Oh, okay. I must have gotten that. I'm gonna use power boost. Yeah. Hold on one second, too. I need to make a note real quick. Um. Okay. Balancing on these monsters is a little off. Like, I don't know, they don't do that much damage, and, like, I they take way too long to kill. I feel both overleveled and underleveled for this at the exact same time. It's really weird. <laughs> so I will use this just because it speeds things up, I guess. There's one dead. Yeah, like, they're doing zero damage to me. Look how many turns it takes to kill these things, though. Oh, that's new. Why are you facing the other way? That- that looks almost like a glitch. Like, <laughs> Okay, that fixed it. Um, hold on. Am I supposed to be able to get up there from here? Oh, that's a ladder? Okay, um... Oh. 
money. Some more money over here. More treasure. Crush shield. We got a few guys who can equip shields. Dang, okay. Um, we have like three characters that can equip shields. No. Oh, yeah. Um, they both have equal defense. I'm gonna give this to you. And I can't get that way. Okay. These guys again, I kind of want to run to be honest. I, I haven't had run fail on me once. Which makes me think that like this might be a game where running always works. I do more RPGs like that, I swear. Uh, just one I can take care of. in there. Oh, that's how it's set up. down? Uh oh That's what I needed. Okay. Oh. Uh, this feels like a boss area. I think we're good on health. Whoa, okay. Oh, no cutscene. Okay, we just fight him. Fire elemental. Oh, let's try ice. It's probably going to do more on just a normal attack, so might as well.
does do decent damage. Why are you attacking her <laughs> all the time? Oh, something different. Oh. Honestly, I'm not really feeling this boss. It just seems a little too basic. Like, it's just one fire attack, another fire attack, and then a group fire attack. Like, that's really all there is here. And I, I, th I think this, this boss just needs a little something extra to make it more interesting. Not make it harder, but just make it more interesting. That is way too much health, too. Kind of like everything in this dungeon. Yeah, I, this dungeon I went didn't really impress me, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I know we're not done with it, but still. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that took a little too long, to be honest. Heart of Fire. Great, that's that taken care of. The talismans seem to contain power of fire. Just holding it like this will be enough to protect us from the harsh cold from the north. Wunderbar. Savage, I knew that it was great idea to come with you. Okay, um, cool. So I'm assuming that's what we need in order to get to the, uh, in order to get past that checkpoint. Okay. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, Mistress, it's horrible! The heroes have already obtained two of the elemental blessings! We must act fast! It's true, they are pro- <laughs> What is this Minecraft textured background here? That's one of these bone blocks. It's true, they are probably heading towards the ice element next. We must stop them. I'm here now. What is the meaning of this? Who are you? My name's Ellie. I'm the greatest adventurer in the world. I have come to stop you, you evil people. You listen, fool. Brooking, uh, Brooking Babmorda shall slay you where you stand. No, I don't think so. Your name's Ellie, correct? How'd you get past my, ch my children? Wouldn't you like to know? Indeed, but I don't think that uh, you are as great of an adventurer as the one we were talking about. What do you mean? In the cave, she killed my children. She has talked to the old tree, and now... Uh, she has obtained the blessing of two elements. No mortal has done that. Oh, Marion, she's really good. Uh, do, uh, she's really doing that good. Yes, and if you truly want to be the greatest adventurer in the world, I think you should listen to what I have to tell tell you. Oh, we gonna have a betrayal with a character who didn't really like us to begin with. <laughs> All right. The horn music. Okay, let's go to the end real quick. Got plenty of money. Nice.
you know you're getting somewhere you can one-shot monsters in the first area. <laughs> Alright. This is the north checkpoint. The area ahead is extremely cold. You need some special equipment. We have that. Whoa, whoa, you can't get in north without protective equipment. You'll freeze to death. It's okay, I've got this charm. It'll protect us. Well, okay, I just hope you know what you're doing. I don't want to have to come dragging you back here if it gets too cold for you. Isn't that your job? Uh, okay. Oh, this place looks incredibly cramped. I already don't like the map here, to be honest. Do we have ice physics? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, there's not anything around there. Oh, that, that's it? I thought we were gonna have like a like a mini dungeon or something. Apparently not. We got another cave right here. That sounded like Final Fantasy IV music. <laughs> oh, whoa. What are you? What kind of chill bay? Home city, that should be two words, of the... Kuma fiends? I don't know how to say that. Uh, Going to the land of the snowman people. They look like Japanese mascots. Like, don't they? I can totally imagine seeing these guys on like Mondo mascots or something. We like to eat snow and ice. We are friendly people and on good terms with humans. Okay. The humans are always so funny looking. Uh, probably the same old, same old. Yeah. I only have one of the- I, you know, this game's been pretty easy so far, but I'm gonna buy a couple of those just in case. I'm not gonna lie to me, this may be your easiest game yet in terms of difficulty. I'm not sure if you want that or not. Um, okay. Whoa! Okay, we got, um... Oh! Wait. Gloves and knuckles. Okay, that's an armor and that's a weapon. That's kind of confusing, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Wait. Why does it start on the second page? That's kind of weird. Oh, Bastard Sword, nice. You know, I heard some interesting trivia before once um, regarding why that weapon has such a weird name to it. Apparently, there are like two types of swords in the world. Um, there are long swords... And, wait, no. There are one-handed swords, and there are two-handed swords. And, like, a bastard sword is just small enough, yet just big enough, that it, it doesn't really count as either. So, it's considered a bit like a bastard child to the, the sword family, I'll put it? I don't know. Like, it's a weird name, I know. Whoa, oh, you can actually equip that? Increases attack and critical hit chance. You know, I think I'll just equip this on you for now. Yeah, you'll be my powerhouse. I really like barehanded, like, monk characters anyway. Be careful, human. The Frost Dungeon, um, to north has monsters, which are able to produce temperatures that are so cold that not even we can survive. I'm not even gonna attempt to say that word, like, I swear. Uh, why did that door change? <laughs> no, my parcel. Now we can prepare, ye uh, prepare yellow snow cake cakes again. Thank you so much. Here is your reward. Um, <laughs> I'm sure it's it's just another word for frosting. It, it's a regional dialect, do you understand? Okay, what, what does that thing do? Emulate that strengths and resistance to all abnormal statuses. Hmm. I have a philosophy to give those sorts of things to my clerics first, because, like, those are the characters you want having status ailments the least. Okay, is that really all you gotta do here? Hold on. There's gotta be a bit more here, right? Not even a church where I can be told that I've been a good girl, or whatever that weird thing is. Oh, the dev told me about that. Apparently it, it means nothing, it's just a weird line he threw in. Should have figured. <laughs> Timio does that a lot. Alright, do we just go back now? I want to explore around for a bit. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, I don't want to do this right now. Um, we'll come back here later. Probably need to go back there later. So do I need, do I need to go back to deadpan now? Or bedpan now? Oops. Hold on, let's go check real quick. Oh, hello? Oh, thank you. I think I should stay to the side, just saying. What quality of life stuff like that. Thanks for checking up with me. Did you taste my friend's food? It's quite del it's quite the delicacy. But that's it? Okay, I guess that's it. Uh, Let's go check out that ice dungeon then, because there's not really much else I can do right now. That's pretty good. I'm still holding out that she's gonna get like a double strike or triple strike ability at some point. All right, let's actually do this. Is that a chest over there? Oh, hold on a sec. Oh my god. Okay, Tumio, like... This is bad dungeon design. I'm just gonna be blunt here. Like, th these walls should not be this high. Like, I just straight up can't see anything. Look at this. Uh, you gotta either lower these walls or make it so, like, the, um... It's like, you gotta either lower these walls... Oh, that's a cool-looking monster. Ice slime. I, I appreciate that the slime isn't j the slimes aren't just straight recolors of each other. That that's always a good sign for a game. Um, I- like, you gotta lower these walls, or make it so, like, the camera is just higher up. Because honestly, that's just really hard to, to navigate. Okay, good. Like, I could barely tell that that was a staircase. Flame spellbook. I'll be using my fire magic here. Oh god, like seriously, look at this. How was I supposed to know that there was a stairwell there? Okay. Whoa! Chili crab, okay. <laughs> All of them are faster than me. Uh-oh. Nice.
Okay. I, I did not see that. Oh, we done? Okay. Huh. I'm not gonna lie to me. I I just outright disliked that one. That was not a good dungeon. Like the walls were too high, you could barely see what was going on. And don't tell me that was the point either. Like that's just bad game design. Hopefully this one will- Whoa! Okay, uh, this might not take as long as the other one, if that's the kind of damage I'm doing with the basic fire spell. I think that's my first time seeing, uh, triple digit damage. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. Oh, pfft. I have like a super move that I'm not aware of. Ah, uh, you don't need healing this turn. Freezing Touch? Oh, this one can actually use status inlets on you. Okay, that's more like it. That's kind of what I want from the last boss, like actual stuff it can do. Oh, I think he's on low health. This should do it. No? Why was he hunched over? Okay, I like that boss better. Uh, sturdiness of Frost. Okay. Great, that's that taken care of. Huh. We got something new here. Let's see what it is. Increases defense and evasion. Um, let's give that. Who doesn't have, like, a thing yet? You don't. I mean, defense and evasion is good to have on anyone, so why not? Okay, let's leave. Oh, Master, I have great news. I've passed the trials. Great going, Marion. I have always uh, knew that you could do it. I've been using this time studying about Brookhane Bramorda. Awesome, so we're, uh, we're like, ready to kill her? That's what I want to tell you. It's impossible to kill, um, Bramorda. What? You may have heard that Bramorda was in, in a slumber. This is because last time, when the heroes fought against her, they weren't able to kill her. They fought against her for days, and she ended up only getting back up, uh, up to her feet. The only way to defeat her is to seal her away into, into a slumber. The northeast is the Dragon Tower. It holds a relic that you can use to place um, Bavmorda under its spell. So what do we do then? Uh, we'll just make her fall asleep? But that didn't seem to help. She di uh, didn't she wake up? Yes, but that was uh, that's what was so weird. It should have been several hundred years of slumber, but wait, who's that with you? I'm Winifred. Ple pleasure to meet you. Winifred, I've noticed that you were looking at something in your pocket. What are you doing? I... What? There was a man in there! <laughs> Thank you, Winifred. That's enough. You've been a great help to me. Who are you? My name is Ghastly Kane. I'm a servant of the Brood Queen. I was uh, the one who awakened her from the slumber. You, you're the reason that my friend died, you bastard. Winifred uh, here has been report, uh, reporting to all of us this time. We've known what you were doing for a while. Now she told us uh, where you are, and I've come to personally kill you all for the Queen. No. Oh no! Master, no! Marion, you were always like a daughter to me. You fool, you think that by delaying the inevitable you'll save them? They shall die! 
and now we're here because of Hugh. Uh, my master, he, I know, I didn't know that uh, this would happen. I am very poor. He, I am very poor. He paid me so that I could just keep an eye out on you. He never told me anyone would die. Like that matters, traitor. We should execute her for what she's done. Are you serious? Then, uh, that you, are you serious that you didn't know? Yes, I'm sorry. I never intended any of this to happen. I believe you. What, Marion? This could have just, uh, this could just be another trick. We need to kill her. That will not bring my master back. Besides, she says she didn't know. Uh, if we condemn her and she's innocent, then we're no better than the villains we fight. You mean you forgive me? Not entirely. Look at what you did. Look, what you did was wrong, but we have much more urgent matters. We can't cause a thing like this to, ca uh, to cause drift between us. That's what they want. If we split now, we'll be weaker. I, th I, I never thought of it that way. I guess that's true. There is strength in numbers. So what do we do now? Well, obviously, we'll need to head to that tower and, and find the relic that the master told us about before his sacrifice. If he, uh, if he thought that we'd need it, I think that's what we must do. And it then hold on a sec. I gotta find a place to save. We're at like a half hour. Um, <laughs> and Glimmer, I'm taking. Um, I'm talking to the statue. You are brave. You made it this far. I have a gift for you. Oh, uh, it's not obvious that you can interact with that. I would change something there. Um, okay. I'm like an MVP a lot of the time, so let's just give you that too. Is this a runway? No, I thought that was like a plane runway. No, that just... okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and save. Alright, I think I'll see you folks later. Uh, thanks for watching.